I received an email again. <laughs> I think receiving emails is the start of the, of, it's like the new intro of the snake oil videos. However, this one was really uh, interesting. So I want to show the email. It was from the guys from Waste Factory. Uh, Jesus here from uh, Waste Factory. I hope I pronounced your name right. A new plugin was released a week ago. Maybe you want to try it out. I get these emails all the time. Um, they also sent me a license with it, but most of the times I just run the demo because if I can't do the review from the demo, then there is really something wrong because if you need a license to get to fully know the plugin, then the demo is not good enough. But anyway, that's not, that's not what I want to say about this email. He said, on a side note, I wanted to tell you that I removed the screws from the UI because of you. And I feel really honored because of that. You're an influence on many people and me too, but I agree it looks better without screws. Yeah, they, they do not have a function. So yeah, it's it's really interesting to see that like in three years time, now all of a sudden people are removing screws because a guy from the Netherlands is moaning on YouTube. That's interesting. Uh, who would have thought that? Anyway, let's get started. All right, Echo Cat is uh, the plugin that uh, I want to look at today from Wave Factory. Uh, again, uh, the plugin that I like from Wave Factory is, is really the Spectre. The Spectre. I, 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 not getting paid for this or whatever, it's just Spectre is really cool. I'll link to the video over here. Echo Cat, one of the best tape echoes, perfectly replicated as an audio plugin, retaining the original sound and offering modern features like ducking, MS, and Tempo Sync. Tempo Sync! Oh! That's such a mess on these old tape echoes. Well, they do not have BPM sync. And more importantly, if they are a bit older, the tempo of the tape goes up and down. So whenever it heats up, you have to sync it again. So tempo sync is very appreciated. I actually, I actually have an old, well, not an Echo Cat. Was it an Echo Cat? Was it actually? No, no, it was a copycat. It was a Watkins copycat. That is what, well, Pretty clearly what this uh, plugin is based on. I don't have a copycat, but I do have a um, um, Dyna... Uh, I do have a Dynacord, Dynacord... Uh Dynacord Echo Chord Super. It's actually a gift that my former audio teacher gave to me. And this is one of the things that I will never sell anymore because it's, it's just a very good gift. Unfortunately, it has a few issues and uh, I need to get it serviced. I don't want to service it myself because I, I, I'm I, not a... Um, uh, I think I will break more than I will repair. So, yeah. Anyway, I should get that serviced and do a video about it. Anyway, anyway, back to the plugin. Now, based on the classic... Oh, here, here it says, from uh, Charlie Watkins, the copycat. It was an instant hit, featured in countless albums from the 60s and 70s and used by great bands like The Shadows and Pink Floyd. I think that the copycat original... But correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I think that, the, that, that it was originally built as a guitar delay, so you could plug your guitar in it, um, because, because that, that other the Dynacord is. Uh, and then later on, it was being used in the mixes as well, like connected to the consoles. Primarily designed for guitar. I'm ahead of myself. It's now a sought after piece of equipment in studios around the world. Uh, yeah, it is. It is. Tape delay is really cool. Uh, but again, it's also a lot of hassles, a lot of maintenance. Uh, but the cool thing is, is the sound. So the sound of a, and I hope that this thing will demo that as well. The sound of a tape delay really is something special. I really like to automate tape delay in my, um, or tape like delay in my, uh, in my productions because it has, a, it has a really compact sound. So it's really easy to glue a little bit of tape delay in, in vocals or whatever, because there's not a lot of low, there's not a lot of high. It's really midi. It's a bit distorted. It's very yeah compact. And, and that really makes the delay glue into, into the, I, I'm actually thinking I should be able to make like a crude tape delay from the, from the MCI should be, that's a good video ID. Oh, let me write that down. If you guys want to see that, let me know. But I think, oh, that, that would be like, IDs are everywhere. It's just waiting until you get them in your head. 
Anyway, while you love Echo Cat, well, I decide for myself if I am going to love it. Drive the input to get a crushed tape sound, push the sustain up to 100% to get at the, that typical self oscillation. Oh yeah, that's also very cool. If you, yeah, if you feedback the original signal, it, it gets into like some kind of a feedback loop, which really gets, it's really, I don't know if you guys see it, but I'm, I, I'm getting uh, um, hyperactive from this. Uh, audio demos, will make them ourselves. Oh here, this is the original, yeah, on a duality, okay. Um, doo -doo -doo. Oh, this looks so nice. It's so made in England, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the stuff. Yeah, cool pictures. All right, but of course we want to see what it actually does while using it. And before I'm going to play some music through it, I first want to take a quick look at the user interface. Because this is it. And I think he lied a little bit with removing the screws because I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws. Anyway. Well, power is on, power off. Oh, this is a bypass, I think. Yeah, cool. It's yeah, it's okay to hide your bypass in the power on off uh, switch. We've got input, sustain, mix, output. I think sustain is a feedback. I think these are our tape heads because the tape rolls like this, I think, or the other way around. Shouldn't really. I think it rolls like this, as if I'm if I'm correct. And then one is the right head three read heads and one erase head because you also need to erase tape before you can write to it again head settings tape settings motor settings master is this also something that we can do something with or is this just for illustration uh, it's there if i'm not in the settings so it's hiding the settings no okay 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 so no no screws we do have some leather some leather padding around it add something else I, I, now I'm missing the hinges, the hinges that are on here to, to close the lid for the... Yeah. Anyway, let's uh, run a vocal through it. This is a vocal from a track named, uh, let's see, it's uh, a Sandstorm by an artist, uh, Darud. So uh, if you guys want to, you know, listen to the full track, check it out, uh, search for it on YouTube. Let's uh, let's run it through there, through, through, through it, in, out, we've got metering. Another broken plate. Oh, it's all right, do something. We never seem to get it right. Another heart attack. Where's the... So, okay. If you put the sustain on 100%, I'm going like completely in the reds. It's not really what I wanted. Another broken plate, another cold off date. We never seem to get it right. Another broken plate, another cold off date. We never seem to get it right. Look gap. Oh yeah. Another heart attack. Words that we can't take back. We are the reason opposites attract. Once you slam the another broken plate. Oh now I don't understand. Sounds better already. Let's remove. Another broken, another broken, broken, broken plane. Plane. Yeah. Another car, another another car, 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 not, not enough uh, distortion yet. Uh, let me see. Another broken, another broken, another car, another car, not getting the full feel yet. Uh, let me see. So I have a little, just a little things. Uh, do we have any? Uh, let's see. Another broken, another broken, plane. Plane. another card, another card. Another card. Ah. Never, 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 never. Now it's more like I'm used to using it. Maybe I was always using it wrong. Maybe it could sound better, but who knows? Mm. 
Yeah, now it starts to be a little bit like a... Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Uh, wait, yeah. You make me lose my mind like all the time it still feels right. Sitting there by the phone, hoping you'll answer yours. Baby, let's talk until we're fine. You've been in bed for days, empty without me, you say. It, it's it's kind of funny because now, now that I can sync it, I, as far as I know, it's synced on 120, which this track is also. I'm, I'm kind of used to tape delay being a little bit out of sync. <laughs> That's funny. I uh, forgot the uh, that the mix knob is, of course, uh, in there. Uh, normally, you use a tape delay as a, as a uh, separate channel. Um, but it really sounds like a tape delay. It gives me the feeling of a tape delay. So that's cool. It's really cool that you could, you, you have control over a lot of things, of course, uh, like the very speed and stuff, because that is that gives the charm of a tape delay, but it can also be very annoying. So you sometimes want to play with it, which you cannot do on the original. Yeah, maybe with a soldering iron, but if you just want to create some quick tape delay, you don't want to pull out your soldering iron all the time. Yeah, cool. Cool thing, uh, it's high Q. I think that is uh, oversampling. It gives me an exclamation mark. So I don't, exclamation mark, question mark. <laughs> so I don't know. But in general, it's a, it's a really cool tape plugin. And I, did I actually review tape delays? Like real tape delays? Did I do that? I have, I really have the memory of a, of a goldfish, of a, of like the stupidest animal of the planet. Like that's my memory. So I, I don't, really remember. I'm actually, I, I have such a bad memory that I could even make a, a video about a plugin two times. C could happen. Anyway, really nice plugin, again, from Wave Factory, which, here we go again with my memory, which ones did have screws in the past? Did we have, like, the cassette or something? That's not on there anymore? I, I, I don't know, I can't remember. I just wanted to check, maybe, maybe the screws were already gone and he's just, you know, trying to get attention with his email. I don't know. Anyway, what, what does it cost? 39 euros right now, it's on sale. Uh, I filmed these videos I had, so it could be that it's not on sale anymore. And then uh, you'll pay the regular price. Or maybe because of my video, they will trigger the sale again. Who knows? Uh, I know that a lot of this stuff is, is happening. Anyway, uh, right now, 39 euros and regular 79, which is like a normal price for such a plugin. From my perspective, tiny bit of like the snake oil flavor, like the, what is it, seasoning is on it, of course, because of the user interface, but it's a very useful user interface. It shows what it is. It's it's emulating the copycat. It's not named the copycat, of course, because I think of uh, copyright, uh, but but uh, um, it, it is very uh, well thought out and uh, the con controlling it is very, you know, they really thought about how to control this thing, so it's not interfering with the controlling of it, uh, which is also the case with their other plugin. So th they're doing a really great job, and it's also a really clean interface for some reason. So yeah, th th I mean, I mean, there's no rust on it. Uh, anyway, I'll link to uh, Wave Factory the Echo Cat uh, below in the description, so you guys can check it out yourself. While you're down there in the description, there are some. Um, Merchandise uh, things, uh, these things, t-shirts, t-shirts, and uh, mugs, mugs. You can buy uh, a nuclear uh, radiation uh, snake oil. Um, um, well, um, only only use it with snake oil. Uh, a mug. So uh, if you like that, <laughs> it's all linked down below in the merch store. With buying the merch, you are helping the channel a little bit, and of course, you're getting something in return. Uh, other ways to support me and maybe getting something in return, is by pledging a bit to my Patreon campaign, which I'm going to link over here. On Patreon, you get early access videos, uh, personal advice, you can run a track through my tape machine, uh, Q&A, uh, we run a monthly Q&As on there, so check it out over there. Another way to support me is by watching more of my videos, of course, so I'll link one of them over here. Don't forget to subscribe, keep pushing, and bye-bye.